Hello. Hello, Steven. Hello. How was the experience with the earthquake? ¿Qué tal el temblor? Ni lo sentí. No le creo. No. No. Me puse a comer. Y, y estaba bien concentrado en eso, entonces ni siquiera lo sentí. <risa> Nada, estuvo súper fuerte. Yo venía en la calle. Pues, salí aquí cerca a hacer algo. Y cuando venía en la calle, fue así como... Eso es súper feo, ¿verdad? Pero fue bien sí, chistoso. Me, me pareció extraño ver toda la gente en la calle. <risa> ¿Y ustedes qué les pasa? ¿Qué sucede? <risa> Ay, no. Así pasa de repente que uno así como... ¿Ah, qué? ¿Y por qué corren, verdad? <risa> sí. Pero es que quizás... No, no es que me den miedo ni nada de eso. Como, no sé. No, a mí no, me, a, mí, a mí no me dan miedo. A mí es como la, la, la intriga de no saber si va a ser largo, se va a quedar o va a ser, se va a ser más difícil, no sé. Ajá, quizás ese es como el, no sé, como lo que me intriga a veces de que, de que si va a ser este, qué tan largo va a ser, si se va si se va a grabar o que si solo es así, medio, medio temblorcito. A ver, si solo es para asustar a las personas nada más. <ríe> solo es el susto nada más. ¿Sí? No, pero no. Gracias a Dios que pasó rapidito. Fue rápido. Solo que todos se nos quedaron ahí en la casa. Escondidos. Todos se quedaron escondidos ahí. Okay, so we are going to work a little bit on on the class, right? Did you have the chance to to do the audio? No tuviste problemas con el audio? No, ya no. Oh, why? Que me hable. Y con el audio que había que enviar a la clase, ya lo enviaste? Sí. Okay. Sí, ya lo envié. Ahí les estoy dando todavía hasta final de la clase para que para sacar el conteo, a ver cuántos me falta. Ok, Steven. Steven, and in general, what is the most difficult part for you about English? What is the most difficult part of English for you? ¿Cuál es la parte más difícil del inglés? Um, creo que es listening. Okay. Listening, ok. Yeah, listening is. Escucharé, verdad. Ajá, uh -huh. listening, yes. Sí, porque yo tengo una memoria bastante buena, entonces yo me puedo grabar las palabras y, y todo lo que me llegaba, me lo uh -huh. grabo okay. en la memoria. Entonces, y cuando se trata de escribir palabras largas en inglés, yo las memorizo al instante, entonces eso es bien sencillo para mí, por eso escribir y todo se me hace difícil, pero escuchar es lo más difícil para mí. Escuchar, escuchar es lo, es lo complicado, ¿verdad? Sí. Es como, pues sí, vea. Ok, listening, that's important. It is good because you can recognize what is something that you need to work more on, right? Es donde ustedes pueden ir reconociendo qué es lo que tienen que trabajar más, okay? qué es lo que tienen que, este, que mejorar por parte de, de su persona, ¿verdad? qué es lo que tienen que trabajar un poquito más. Entonces, ahorita ya descubrimos que el de Steven es listening. Let's see about the rest. What about the other ones? Luz, Antonio, hello, Ilse, Joana, welcome. José Rey, hasta el espacio se nos fue el temblor. Estábamos consultando con Steven. What is the most difficult part of English for you? What do you consider the most difficult for you? Para mí, creo que es formar las oraciones. Me confundo. Okay, to make sentence. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Listening is something that you are going to be developing on the process. So that's why I try to speak in English for you the most possible, mm -hmm. because that's the only way for you to improve your listening, right? Entre más vayamos escuchando, más se les va a ir quedando. So that's why you might say, no, but we are basic. Why the teacher is always speaking in English? The idea is that you train your ear for you to listen, right? Yo los estoy entrenando para que su oído se entrene a escuchar en inglés. So that's that's why I try to speak a lot of English for you. So, good. Thank you very much, Jose. Antonio, tell me. Uh -huh. Antonio, what is the most difficult part of English for you? Creo que hubo una confusión porque este, le agradeció a José y José no, no había dicho nada. Ah, pues era Antonio que se me mezclaron los sonidos. Y tenía las dos cámaras activas. So, to form the sentences, it's with Antonio. Ok, good, 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 good. So, what about José? Then, entonces, ¿qué pasa con José? ¿Cuál es la parte difícil de José? Now I will switch my information, ok? Cambiamos la información. En mi caso, eh, como hablábamos con mi esposa, una de las cosas que, que a mí siento que me da quizás pereza, y ya me mudé así, es que no soy bueno para eh, lo que es como lenguaje, estar viendo el verbo, el, el no sé qué, de cosas, cosas como esta. Ajá. Quizás, quizás por eso no me, no me gusta eh, eh, de cierta manera el inglés, porque... Todo se me dificulta. A veces lo tengo que pronunciar de una manera y escribirlo de otra. Yeah, eh, uh, de manera, todo. that's the process of English, right? Well, English, the, the best that you can do, for example, if you don't like grammar, right? Si no te gusta la grammar y no te gusta esto del verbo, sujeto, predicado y todo, tienes que leer un montón. Sí. Entonces, al leer, ahí vas a ir agarrando vocabulario y estructuras al mismo tiempo. ¿Por qué? Porque en la lectura no te sale así como, este es el sujeto, el verbo, el adjetivo, el adverbio, sino que vas conociendo vocabulario en general y ya estructuras creadas. Entonces, eso, es, eso ayuda un montón. Leer, 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 un montón. Yo sé que lastimosamente tenemos esta cultura de que no nos gusta leer a veces, o que leemos por obligación. Entonces hay que leer cosas que nos gusten. Si les gusta el fútbol, lean de fútbol. Si les gusta el anime, lean de anime. Si le gusta cocinar, busquen recetas en inglés. So, but the idea is to practice, right? To get as much vocabulary as possible. Okay, good, Jose. That's the, the, the thing, the topic, right? Reading, a lot of reading, un montón de lectura. Joana, what about you? Bueno, creo que a mí quizás lo que más se me dificulta es... O sea, yo puedo entender que alguien me esté hablando, pero al momento de responder, como que empiezo a, a pensar mucho en español, entonces traduzco mucho en mi mente, entonces eso es lo que me, me dificulta bastante. Ok, translation. What is, what is something good for that? That you listen to a lot of conversation, ok? Hoy le voy a enviar un link, y ahorita que Joana lo menciona, yo le voy a enviar un link donde hay conversaciones 24-7 en YouTube. Y hay conversaciones de todo, de comida, de viajes, del doctor, del hospital. O sea, hay gente conversando en ese canal y usted se, se mete, por ejemplo, y está una hora escuchando conversaciones. Ve la pregunta, ve lo que la gente responde. Entonces ahí vas agarrando ideas de cómo la gente responde a ciertas preguntas. Es un canal muy interesante, se lo voy a compartir al no más terminar la clase. Para que lo vean y practiquen. Y van a ir viendo ahí, salen conversaciones de todo. Y ahí pueden ir a grande idea. Y en el caso de José, por ejemplo, que no le gusta estructurar cosas así, dice, ah, así se contesta. Ahí agarro la idea. Man, that's easy, right? It's easy. But you have to be very curious. Ya, perdón. Uh -huh. Ahorita en mi caso, ya empiezo a, mi esposa maneja un poco el inglés y nos ponemos a, a decir cosas. That's so good. That's so perfect. If you can practice eh, with someone, okay. Exacto, porque mi trabajo, 
a veces me, me hablan en inglés y en, en, en son de broma les digo, la suya por si acaso. No, eh. no, come on. No, you see, eh, in, in some cases we, we don't do it because we don't want. A veces nos da miedo, nos da pena que nos escuchen hablar. Y yo me acuerdo cuando empecé a hablar, cuando empecé en estos pininos del inglés, ya tenía ocho o nueve años, más o menos. Este, y yo medio oía que alguien hablaba inglés y yo ahí a la par, ¿verdad? así como, pregúnteme algo, pregúnteme algo que yo puedo contestar, ¿verdad? Entonces, y me ponía a hablar cositas, así como, hi, eh, nice to meet you, my name is Natalie, y bla, 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 y ahí me metí así a hacer mis pininos con el inglés. Entonces, José, ahora véalo como una ventaja. Cada vez que alguien, usted sepa que la persona habla inglés, métase ahí a practicar así como, hey, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you, nice to see you, ¿ok? Y ahí sí ya le contestan y todo, o sea, like, hey, take it easy, I am basic, ¿ok? Y ahí dígale, take it easy, o sea, ahorita tranquilo porque soy basic, I am basic, you say. Pero ahí ya se crea el respeto este de, hey, está aprendiendo, qué bien. So, that's a tip, right? That's a tip that you can keep. If you are good at listening, practice your speaking, right? Practice speaking a lot. Between yourselves, si se encuentran de repente ahí por, por la fábrica un día, así como, hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Have a good day. It's okay. Practice. Yo siempre les digo, el único que se va a burlar de otro que habla inglés es alguien que ni siquiera ha empezado a aprender. Así que ahí les dejo el tip. El que ya empezó a aprender se pega a la conversación y sigue platicando. ¿verdad? Entonces, que nunca les depende. Okay. So practice, practice and practice. Ilse, what do you need to improve? ¿Qué necesitas mejorar? Listening, speaking, reading or writing. Este, bueno, a mí va, se me dificulta bastante igual lo de Joana, creo que es al momento de responder. Es como que mi mente se bloquea y comienzan a pasarme tantas palabras en mi mente y al final no digo nada porque... Uno quizás en lo mío es la inseguridad de no saber si voy a contestar bien, si se van a burlar de mí o, o qué, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, porque, bueno, a mí me gusta escuchar bastante. Últimamente estuve escuchando bastante música en inglés con okay. letras que son un poco más despacio para yo poderme aprender lo que dicen. Good. Ajá. Este, y poder eh, tomar como que es... Eh, el, el saber pronunciar ok porque por ejemplo eh, en el audio que enviamos que nos dejó uh -huh. que enviamos uh -huh. es como que hago muchas pautas ok porque hay, hay oraciones un ejemplo que se tienen que decir eh, corridas entonces quizás por mi miedo de equivocarme o, o, o no sé es que voy por pausas, por pausas, y, y siento que ahí es donde fallo bastante. A okay. mí, en, en lo personal, sí me cuesta un poquito el verbo to be, siempre ha sido mi problema. En todas las veces que he tomado cursos de inglés, sí siento que me están ayudando estas clases, porque siento que estoy aprendiendo un poco más de eh, otros cursos que he tomado, pero sí, igual me está costando un poquito. Okay, I know, I know, but you see, we have only four days together. Este es como con nuestro quinto día junto. Okay, llevamos como qué? Miércoles, jueves, viernes, lunes, martes. Cinco días juntos. Y si me dice usted que le han ido sirviendo en cinco días, imagínense en 20. So that would be very good. So <clears throat> it is important, right? It is important that you practice. It is important that you improve, that you investigate, and that you continue looking for more information about every single topic that we study, okay? So if we study, for example, the alphabet today, investigate about the alphabet. If we study the plurals, investigate about the plurals, okay? So today we are going to reinforce a little bit about A and N, okay? Como les decía el día de ayer, vamos a practicar A and N. So we are going to start by a little speaking practice, right? We're going to have a little speaking time And then we are going to work on the explanation of A and N. So, how will you complete this conversation? How will you complete the conversation? It says, hi, how are you? Hello, I 
And you? How would you complete this conversation? So you say, I, ¿qué le pondríamos aquí? I, I am. I am, right? I am I happy. Am. I am happy. And I will move it right here. I am happy. And you? I am happy too. I am happy too, right? I am happy too. Let's practice. Okay. Are you an actor? You can say, yes, I am. Or you can say, no, I am not. Tienes las dos opciones. Puedes contestar con, yes, I am, or no, I am not. Is your mom a teacher? ¿Cuáles serían las dos opciones? Yes. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Or no. She is not. She is not, right? No, she is not. Is your dad a dentist? He. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is or? Not. No. No, not. no he is not. not. Okay. Is your brother an architect? Yes. Yes, yes, he, is. yes, he, is. yes he is or no? No, he is not. No, he is not. Okay. So, what we are going to do right now is the following. We are going to practice the conversation and we are going to choose an answer, okay? Imagine that we start and I say, hi, how are you? You are going to answer, hello, I am happy. And you? I am happy too. Let's practice, okay. Are you an actor? Mm, no, I am not. Is your mother a teacher? Yes, she is. Is your dad a dentist? No, he is not. Is your brother an architect? Yes, he is. Okay, and you are going to answer, depending on what you want. Puedes escoger yes or no, okay? So, <clears throat> I am going to do the example with Joanna, okay? Voy a hacer el ejemplo con Joanna. I am going to be A, and Joanna is going to be B, okay? Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello, I am happy, and you? I am happy too. Let's practice. Okay. Are you an, uh, an actor? Yes, I am. Is your mom a teacher? No, she's not. Is your dad a dentist? Yes, he is. Is your brother and architect? No, he's not. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you very much, Dr. Club, for Joanna. She did a very nice job. Very nice job, Joanna. Beautiful, beautiful job. So, I need couples, okay? Couples. Jose, escoge a alguien del grupo para practicar. Okay. Okay, Ilse and Jose. Go ahead. Are you deciding quién it is? Ilse. Ah, okay. Hi, how are you? Hello, I am happy and you? I am happy too. Let's practice. Okay. Are you an actor? No, I am not. Is your mom a teacher? Yes, she is. Is your dad a dentist? Yes, he is. Is your brother an architect? architect? No, he is not. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Thank you very much. Very good job, right? Thank you. Ilse and Jose. Nice job. Ilse, escoge a una persona y Jose, escógeme a otro. Ilse, escoja. Escoge a alguien. Dalila. 
Ok, Dalila and Jose, ¿a quién escoge? Tatiana. Ok, Dalila and Tatiana, go ahead. Hi, how are you? Hello, I am, I am happy, and you? I am happy too. Let's start it. Ok. Are you an actor? No, I am not. Is your mom a teacher? She is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She is. Oh. Is your dad a dentist? He is. Yes, he is. Is your brother an architect? Architect. Architect. Yes, architect. He is. Yes, he is, right? It's an architect. An architect. Very good job. Nice job, girls. Very good job. Okay. Let's see. Tati and Dalila. Choose two other people. Escojan otros dos. Antonio Jose. Okay, Antonio and Antonio y quién? Cristian. Okay, Antonio and Cristian. Vamos. Uh, hi, how are you? Hello, I am happy and you? I am happy too. Let's see, pra pra practice. Let's practice, you say, let's practice. Uh -huh. Okay. Are you an actor? Yes, I am. Is your mom a teacher? Um, she is not. Is your day a dentist? Uh, yes. Yes, he is. Is, is. is your brother an architect? Uh, no, he is not. Okay, is your brother an architect? No, he's not. Very good job. Now, Christian and Antonio, choose another person. Veamos quiénes son los que nos faltan. Uh -huh. Luz and Leticia. Uh, Leticia Gonzalo. Ok. <coughs> Leticia. <coughs> en luz. <coughs> ok, Leticia González en luz. Vamos. Hi. How are you? Hello. I am happy. And you? I am happy too. Let's practice. Ok. Are you an actor? Yes, I am. Or no, I I am not. Is your mom a teacher? Yes, she is. Or no, she is not. Is your dad a dentist? Yes, he is. Or no, he is not. Is your brother an architect? Architect. Architect. Yes. Yes, he is. Or yes. No, he is not. Okay, only one, right? Only one of the two answers, right? Yes, he is. Si yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, are you a teacher? Me vas a decir, no, I am not, right? Are you a dentist? No, I am not. Are you happy? Yes, I am, right? Only one of the two answers. Very good job, my dear students. I wanted to start today with a little bit of a speaking, right? A little bit of speaking practice. And it was a very good practice. Excellent job, the one that you did today with this. So as I told you yesterday, and I am going to open, uh, I am going to open here a screen, okay? Let me just, okay, just give me one sec. Okay. Give me one, one moment. I am going to add 
another one here for us to work on this. Okay, and I am going to be right here. I need you to give me, I need you to give me different names of objects. Give me different names of objects. For example, if we have here, I am going to start here and you say, um, apple, okay, you have one object. Give me another name of another object. De cualquier objeto, fruta, vegetal, cosa, any object. Uh -huh. Tomato. Tomato. Uh huh. What else? Grape. Grape. Okay. Orange. Orange. Book. Which one? Book. Book. Lemon. Lemon. Good. House, table. Give me more, more examples. Cell phone. Horse. Horse. Okay, horse. Look. Church. Okay, we have house, horse, church. Okay. Any other one? Pizza. Pizza. Oh. Okay, uh, pizza. Let me move this one and I will erase this one here. Pizza. Okay, pizza. Uh, Eraser. Uh -huh, Aha, another pencil. Very good. Pencil. Chicken. Guitar. Okay, chicken. What is the other one? I couldn't listen. Okay, we have window. We have door. Door. Okay, dog. Dog. Cow. Cow. Pink. Look. Okay, pink. It's a color, right? That's an adjective. So we can use another object. Think about another object. You can say car, guitar. guitar. No. Oh, no. Uh huh. No, Which one? ¿Cuál luz? ¿Cuál nos decía? <laughs> Se le olvidó. Okay, let's let's have here, for example, a laptop. Okay, laptop. Um, we can have another. Window. Okay, window, we have one there. Another one. Let's see. I will make this one bigger. Okay. I will make it bigger for you. Okay. And I am going to have one more section of examples, right? I am going to have one more section of examples. Here, I am going to have, for example, uh, I am going to go here. Okay, moon. I am going to have blouse, earring, Stop. earring, uh huh. The sun, uh, which one, Antonio? Pencil. Pencil. I think we have pencil already. No, no tenemos pencil. Ah. Okay, yeah, pencil. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, tenemos yeah. pencil. Okay. So let's have here potato. Okay, potato. Octopus. Octopus, un pulpo. Boy. A boy. Okay. And boy. Yes, the house. Yes. House. Ya tenemos house. Okay, so in this one, I am going to explain a little bit on here and I am going to add two more, but this is going to be for plural. And this is going to be uh, buses and glasses. Okay, I am going to add these two. ¿Qué les quiero explicar con esto? 
the use of a and an. A and an is for singulars, ¿ok? A and an es algo que acompaña a los singulares. ¿Qué significa a and an? Significa un, una. ¿Ok? So, and you only use these ones with singulars. You only use a and an with singulars because they mean un and una. For example, if you use a, you are going to use a singular form. Seguido de a, va a ir una forma singular de un objeto. ¿Ok? Solo se ocupa con los nombres. ¿Ok? No se ocupa con los verbos. Se ocupa con los nombres en general. All these ones that you have here, todos estos son nombres en general, objetos en general. For example, here, apple. What is the difference? A, it's only with consonant sounds, and an is with vowel sounds, okay? Here we have, for example, a book, right? You don't say a book. ¿Por qué no ponemos a book aquí? Porque esto comienza con consonante, right? You say a book. Si tiene una consonante inicial, Decimos a, a book, un libro, a car, un auto, a frog, una rana, a lemon, un limón, a truck, un camión, a computer, una computadora. The same is here. An octopus es un pulpo. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? That it begins with vowel, right? An octopus, right? An octopus es un pulpo. An actor, porque no podríamos decir a actor because it sounds horrible, right? And it is not correct. An actress, because you have a vowel sound here. An architect, right? An engineer, an eraser. This is only with singulars. Si se fijan, aquí octopus termina con S. Me va a decir, teacher, pero eso es plural. No, right? Octopus, así se escribe. Eso es el singular de octopus. Okay, an actor. Si aquí diría... Así, no podemos decir an actors porque sería un actores y eso no es correcto. Si tienes la S en el plural del noun, tendría que ser solo actors. Okay, and on the sentence you say they are actors. Okay, they are actors because it's plural. Aquí sí ya son más de un actor, right? But what happens if it is only one? ¿Qué pasa si es solo uno? So you say, he is an actor. He is an actor. ¿Y por qué no le pongo she, a actor? ¿Por qué no le pongo she? She is an actor. ¿Qué mujer? Ajá. What is the what is the feminine form of actor? Hombre. Ajá. ¿Cuál es la forma femenina de actor? Actriz. Actress, right? So you say aquí la teníamos abajo, right? So you say she is an actress, right? She is an actress. That is singular, only one lady, right? She. Okay, what happens if we have here? Actresses. Tendríamos que ocupar un plural. And you say, they are actresses. Okay, because they are many ladies. Ahí estaba Salma Hayek, Sandra Bullock, no sé qué. Se estaban todas juntas. Hay muchas actrices, mujeres. Right, they are actresses. But in this case, we are working on the singulars. And you say, she is an actress, okay? An architect. What was the question that we have here? Is your brother an architect, right? Is your brother an architect? And here you have the next form. And you say, an, an architect, right? And it is only one person. So you say, he is an architect. For the architect, if the, if the architect is a lady, is the same, right? She is an architect. That's it. Engineer también es lo mismo para él y ella. Engineer, engineer. Son poquitos los que cambian. Por ejemplo, en este caso de actor and actress. Ese sí cambia. 
Okay. I need an eraser. I need an eraser. What is the meaning of this? ¿Qué significaría esta frase? I need an eraser. Necesito un borrador. Necesito un borrador. Okay. I need an eraser. Necesito un borrador. That is only one. Okay. Only one is for a and an. Let's go back to the list, right? Regresemos a nuestra lista. Aquí. So, for apple, what are you going to use? A apple or an apple? An apple. An, an apple, right? So you say an apple. Tomato? Um, a tomato. A, a tomato, right? A tomato. For grapes? A grapes. A grapes. A grapes. Um, ah, no, no, no lleva. Ah, no lleva. ¿Por qué no lleva? Porque para mí es la habla de mucho. Porque es plural, right? We have many grapes, right? Grapes is plural, right? So it's uvas. Grapes. And if you have only one, you say a grape, but it's not common, right? Solo en el super a veces la gente se la roba por una, <laughs> una uva. So you say a grapes is not possible, right? So you say grapes because that is plural. What about orange? Um, orange. Same orange. Um, An orange, right? An orange. A book? Um, a book. A, a book, right? Lemon? Uh, um, 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 lemon. Um, lemon. Um, lemon. Is this vocal? No, right? So you say a lemon. Um, house? Um, a house. A house. Table? A table. Um, a table. Cell phone? A cell phone. A cell phone. Horse? A horse. A horse. A church? A church. Pizza? A pizza, right? Eraser? An eraser, right? An eraser. What about pencil? A pencil. A pencil. Chicken? A chicken. A, chicken. a chicken, right? Window? A window. A window. Okay, a window. The next one is a door, right? A door. Okay, door? No. You say a door. Okay, a door. This is duck. Sorry. Duck. A duck? A duck. a duck, right? A duck. In this one? A dog. A dog, a dog right? A dog. The next one? A, a, a cow, right? So you have a cow. Mm -hmm. What about this one? A car. A car, a car right? So you have a car. Guitar? A guitar. A guitar. A guitar. Laptop? A laptop. Moon? A moon. Okay, a moon. A moon, it's okay. ¿Qué te vas a dibujar en el papel? Ah, moon. Draw a moon, right? The next one. Do you have? Blouse. Blouse. A blouse, right? So you have a blouse. Earring. I have an earring. An earring. An earring. The sun. A sun. A, a sun, right? A sun. a sun. The next one? A potato. A potato, right? A potato. The next one? An octopus, right? An octopus. Boy? A boy. A boy? Ball? A boy. A boy. A boy. A boy. A boy. Buses? A buses. A buses. Un buses. 
Ah, um, no, no lleva. It doesn't have, right? Because it's plural. It's plural. It doesn't have because it's plural. ¿En glasses? No lleva. Tampoco lleva because it's plural, right? Because it's plural. Very good. So, this is the, the difference, right? And in this case, <clears throat> octopus. Octopus in this case is eh, un pulpo, pero pulpo en singular termina con S. No es una forma plural. Okay, so you say ah. an, an octopus. And I think the plural of octopus, let me check. Oh, I, need to, I need to check something about this one. And let's see. Okay, octopuses with ES, it's plural, right? El plural sería este. Y no lleva an. Octopuses. Okay. Right, but in this case, we are talking in singular. And we have octopus. Okay. okay. And there okay. you have it, right? There you have the form of the sentence. If we want to make a sentence with this, let's choose this first line. Okay, vamos a duplicarla y lo puedo ver. Okay, in this one, for example, if we want to make sentences, vamos a agarrar la primera columna. And in this one, I will go here. If we want to make a sentence with this, so you say it is an apple, right? It is an apple. Why? Because we are talking about the fruit, right? Por eso ocupamos it, porque nos referimos a la fruta. What about the second sentence? ¿Qué le pondríamos? It is. It is. It is. It is a tomato. It is a tomato, right? It is a tomato. It is a tomato. Grapes. They are. They are grapes, right? They are grapes, right? And we have it. An orange. It is. It is an orange. Okay, it is an orange, right? A book. It is a book. It is a book. It is a book. It is a book. And there you have the period. What about the next one? It is a lemon. A lemon. And then you can continue creating, right? You can continue creating the other sentences in this case. So, so it is a house, it is a table, it is a cell phone, it is a horse, it is a church, okay? That's the way we use it, right? Esto es una manzana, esto es una naranja, esto es un libro, right? There you have, and that's the way we use it. So let's make more of these sentences, right? Here you have the explanation, and we have a couple of exceptions. For example, this one, you might say, teacher, but union starts with vowel. Ajá, but what about the sound, right? En este caso, estas son, estas que les muestro aquí, son excepciones, okay? Son excepciones a la regla. ¿Por qué? Porque union, union, tiene el sonido de la Y. Union, okay? So you say, a union. A united front, united, right? A unicorn. Unicorn, because of the U sound that it has. Estas son excepciones a la regla, ¿ok? Estas son como palabras marcadas que son excepción. So you say, a U.S. napkin, a U.S. ship. An honorable piece, ¿ok? An honorable. En este caso, empieza con H, pero el sonido de honorable es como con O, right? Entonces, estas dos excepciones las pueden tomar en cuenta. An honest error. Right? These are exceptions to the rule. A specific exceptions, okay? So these are just exceptions. Esas sí se pueden contar como las excepciones a esa regla. And here we have, what about this one? Would you say, banana, A or N? And banana? Banana. banana. It is? Okay. Ah, uh, banana. Ice cream. 
Ice cream. An ice cream, porque comienza con vocal. An ice cream. Pier. A pier. A pier. A pier. Orange. An orange. Apple. An apple. Cake. A cake. A cake. Umbrella. An umbrella. Right? So there you have the examples and the sentences. What about the next ones? Les muestro los siguientes. Oh my God. Sorry. Okay. So we una. I need you to work on this one on your book. Vamos, tienenlo en su cuaderno. Ah, ok. Ah, oh, vamos, trabajelo, trabajelo, trabajelo. Solo pueden poner del 1 al 8 y ponen las respuestas. Y ahí les puse los dibujitos por si no sabían el significado. Okay, the first one. Okay. A book, right? A book. Number two? Um, and, um, and, um, an ant, um, right? An ant. Number three? A cat. A cat. The next one? Uh, an, apple. an apple, right? An apple. An apple. What about the next one? An elephant. An elephant. The next one? Uh, an igloo. An igloo. Igloo. The next one? An eye. Right? An eye. An eye. And the last one? A kite. Right? A kite. Okay. Okay. En el, okay. Solo vamos a una pausa ahorita. Eh, Janetita, ¿tenés audífonos? Sí. Para que te los puedas poner y no te haga tanto feedback. Bueno. Ajá. Me Para que te los puedas poner y ya se minimiza un poquito el ruido. Ok. I have here a sentence, right? I have here a sentence. Okay. This is a or this is an. Necesito que se vayan corriendo ahí cerquita y agarren dos objetos que tengan cerca. Vamos. Corran, búsquenme dos objetos. Vamos, 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 vamos. Va, va. Búsquenme dos objetos que tengan ahí cerca. Vamos. Busque, 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 busque. I need two objects, two objects, two objects. I found one. And I have another. Okay, ya tengo dos. Dos objetos, búsquemelos ahí, búsquemelos, búsquemelos. Okay, busque dos objetos. And you are going to, you are going to tell me, this is a, or an, si sí, depende cómo se llama el objeto, 
E, this is an, and you're giving me the other object, okay? This is a calculator. Okay, no me pregunte por qué la tengo para las clases de inglés, pero aquí está. This is a calculator, and this is a marker. This is a calculator, and this is a marker. What about you? Si no sabemos, acuérdense. Teacher, how do you say in English? How do you say Pain. Pain I will send it on the chat. It's comb. Comb. Teacher, how do you say vaso? Glass. Teacher, how do you say vaso? Glass. Ahí se lo mandé al chat. Glass. Ah. Preguntas, preguntas. Cuchara, spoon. How do you say lotion? Perfume. Perfume. A bottle of perfume. How do you say cepillo? Cepillo. <laughs> Toothbrush. Toothbrush. How do you say? Control. Control is the same. How do you say talco? Control. Powder. Okay. Ahí le mandé eh, en el chat. Toothbrush, bottle of perfume, talco. ¿Quién, quién tiene el talco en la mano? Veamos. Muéstrame. ¿Quién tiene el talco en la mano? Alguien me dijo, ¿cómo es el talco? Yo, Catherine. Catherine. A bottle of powder. A bottle of powder. Una botella de talco. Un botecito, un contenedor de tal. A bottle of powder. Okay. Any other one? Say, say candela. Ah, cartera. That is a wallet. A wallet. Ahí se lo estoy viendo al chat. What is that? Yes, say candela. Ah, a, a, a candela. How do you say candela? Candle. Candle and audífonos okay. son earphones. Earphones. How do you say thermo? Thermo. That is, I think it is a, a cup. Cup. Let me see. I think it's just a cup. Cup. Uh huh. No, no more. So show me the objects on camera. Vamos a empezar con Edwin Steven. ¿Qué vamos a ocupar? This is a or this is an. Okay. And show me the objects. This is a calculator. This is a marker. Show me the objects. Edwin. Edwin comienza. Uh -huh. But show me the... Uh -huh. This is a mouse. Uh -huh. This is a... Pen. 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 Very good. Ilse. Um... No sé si se utiliza A o A porque creo que bueno, es verdad. Ajá, these are tendría que ser. These are these are earphones. Earphones, earphones. And the other one? La otra no recuerdo cómo me dijo que se pronunció. <laughs> wallet, wallet. Eh, bajo. W A L L E T. Ah. Ahí se lo mandé al chat de Zoom. Wallet. Wallet. Ajá. This is a wallet, right? Alma de Lila, vamos. ¿Qué? Alma de Lila. Ok. And the other one, muéstrame el objeto. Ok, this is a... A remote control. A remote control. This is a remote control. 
This is a remote control. Good. Okay. And the other one, Dalila, ¿cuál era el otro? Lápiz. Pencil. Pencil. Okay, this is a pencil. This is a pencil. Okay, Tatiana. This is a cell phone. Okay, this is a cell phone. Janet? Janet, Sarabia, te toca. This is... This is... This is what? Y muéstrame el objeto. A spoon. This is a spoon. A spoon. And the other one, el otro objeto. This is a candle. Candle, right? This is a candle. Candle. Catherine, Catherine se nos ha quedado trabada ahí. Bueno, cuando, cuando vuelva, volvemos ahí. ¿José? It is a mouse. A mouse, ajá. It is a um, USB. This is a USB. Very good. This is a USB. In that case, that is like USA, right? USB. A USB. Ese también entraría en excepción, como US, USB. Sería A, a USB. A USB. Very good. Antonio. Um, is it is a glass. Ok, it is a glass. Very good. Uh, it is a paper. It is a paper. Very good job. Luz. Mm -hmm. Steve, uh, come. No, that's a toothbrush. A toothbrush. Toothbrush is el de los dientes. Y come is el del pelo. Sí, sí, sí. This is a comb. A comb, ajá. Y this is a toothbrush. Toothbrush, toothbrush. Very good, toothbrush. Christian. Uh, this is a coffee. Okay, a bottle of coffee. This is a bottle of coffee, porque es un bote de café. This is a bottle ah. of coffee. Siempre, ¿verdad? mostrándonos el rico. Ah, mentira. <ríe> Muéstrelo de nuevo, ¿eh? Nadie nos paga por este comercial de café. <ríe> This is a, a bottle of coffee, ¿ok? Y yo aquí con mi, con mi café listo, va. <ríe> This is a bottle of coffee. Muy bueno, muy bueno. Muy buen gusto. And the next one. Uh, this is a cup. This is a cup, okay? This is a cup and this is a cup of, this is a bottle of coffee. Very good. Joanna? Uh, this is a bottle of perfume. That's a bottle of perfume. Um, Very good. Uh, this is a watch. This is a watch. Very good. Uh -huh. A watch. Very good job. Yes. Leticia Ortiz. Vamos. This is a book. This is a pencil. This is a book. This is a pencil. Wait, to the up to the object, right? To the point. Leticia Gonzalez, vamos. This is a glass. Um, this is a car. Okay, this is a glass and this is a car. Very good job. Excellent. So you see. Easy practice, right? Easy practice with objects that you have around. Ahora cuando anden caminando, se van a acordar de mí. Van a decir, this is a refrigerator. This is a door. This is a dog. This is a cat. De todo lo que vean en su casa, se van a acordar de mí. Y van a decir, ¿cómo se dice tal cosa en inglés? Ah, okay. Y si miran a su alrededor, imagínense todo el mundo de cosas que tienen para nombrar. This is a window, this is a dog, this is a car, this is a brother, this is my husband. Actually, no, that's not an object. Okay, so 
There you have. You have a world of possibilities to name, right? Hoy van a andar nombrando todo. Cuando vayan en el, en el camino al trabajo. This is a tree. This is a house. This is a bird. Right? And I need you to think in English, right? It's, it's necessary. What about this one? We are going to take the example to the real world, right? With people that you know. I hope that you know them, right? And here. Alejandro Sanz is a singer, right? This is the first example. Alejandro Sanz is a singer. Okay, that's the first one. Alejandro Sanz is a singer. What about the next one? What can you tell me about her? No me van a decir quién es ella. Selena, right? Selena, here. What can you tell me about Selena? She is a singer. Selena is a singer. What else? ¿Qué más? An actress, right? She is an actress. What about him? He's an actor, right? He's an actor. He's a comedian, right? He's an actor. What about him? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise? He, he is he an is actor. A actor. He, Tom Cruise is an actor, right? What about this one? He is an actor. He is uh, she is an actress. ¿Cuál es el nombre de ella? Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock is an actress. What about this one? She is a singer. Okay. This one? A singer, right? A singer. What is her name? Shakira. Okay. Shakira is a singer. What about this one? He is an actor. Jim Carrey is an actor. Or he is an actor, right? Jim Carrey is an actor. Let's move on business with the next ones. And I need you to create the sentences. Okay? De esta sí, háganme las oraciones. Go ahead, write them on your notebook. No me las puedo, no sé cómo se llama. <ríe> ¿Cómo se llama él? Si vieron, búsqueda implacable 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 y 7. ¿Cómo sí, pero no me pude el nombre. <ríe> Vamos a ver, un punto al que me diga el nombre. 1, 2, 3, 4. Parece que su nombre de doctor es Rocky Balboa, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? This is not Rocky Balboa, ¿cómo? El Rocky es el nombre de la película. ¿Cómo se llama él? Se pierde el punto, se pierde el punto. No, Jean-Claude Van Damme, no, people. ¿Ah? Silvestre Stallone. Silvestre Stallone, yes. It's the one from Rocky, yes. But what about this one? Liam. Uh -huh. Liam, what? Solo por Liam, me acuerdo. Liam Neeson, right? Liam. Punto para ti. <laughs> ya le di un punto. Un punto, un punto rojo para ti. Tara. Le di un punto. Liam Nielsen, right? Liam Nielsen. And he is the one from Busca Implacable. Okay? Liam Nielsen. Okay. Y el primero, ¿cómo se llama? El papá de medio mundo. Come on. Este es el papá de medio mundo. Todas las señoras están enamoradas. ¿Cómo se llama? Ajá. ¿Cómo se llama él? Chayanne, right? Chayanne. Chayanne is the father of medio Latin America. <laughs> and this one is Liam Neeson. Okay, Liam Neeson. Okay, that's his name. Neeson, sorry. Liam Neeson, that's the name of this man. Liam Neeson. What about this one? Do you know what's the name of this lady, right? It's Julia... 
Julia Roberts. And this one? The soccer Cristiano player? Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. And this one, Messi, right? Messi. Okay, create sentences about different things. <clears throat> Okay, aquí le pueden poner diferentes cosas. You can say Chayang is handsome, Chayang is a singer, Chayang is a musician, Chayang is a dancer. I don't know, invent sentences with these ones. Invent sentences, okay. En lo que ustedes están inventando sus oraciones, les voy a pasar lista, okay? Okay, voy a pasar lista en todo lo que están inventando sus oraciones. Let's go here. Okay, remember when you listen to your name, say here or present. Let's start. Okay. Teacher, una pregunta? Yes. Dime. Ayer que eh, pude entrar una hora nada más porque se me fue este, la señal del wifi, porque se fue la luz. Ajá. Eh, ¿Me toma como punto bueno de presente o como punto malo? No, 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 claro. Si tú estuviste presente ese tiempo, se toma ese, ese tiempo que tú estuviste. Eso, los minutos, todos los minutos que ustedes entran cuentan, chicos. Eso es muy importante. Eso es bien, bien importante. Todos los minutos cuentan. Así que tengan... Eh, tengan cuidado con eso, de conectarse siempre el mayor número de minutos posibles. Lo que siempre recomiendo es que esté en la hora completa. ¿Ok? In this case, Alma Dalila, estuviste cabal 56 minutos conectada. Ajá. Entonces siempre hay que tener cuidado con eso, ¿verdad? Siempre conectarse. Alma, sí, ahí yo creo que, que te voy a poner, ahí tiene el comentario de que te desconectaste por motivos de lluvia. Yo siempre les pongo el, cuando me dicen ustedes por qué se desconectan de repente, yo les pongo un comentario de qué ah, pasó, okay. vea. Okay. 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 ok. ok, so. Ok, voy. Let's go here. Let's go with the first one. Alma Dalila. I am present. Ok, Alma Xiomara Candelari. Alba Leticia González. Present. Thank you. Antonio José. Present. Cristian Mauricio. Present. Edwin Steven. Present. Eric Eduardo. Evelyn Janet. Thank you. Heidi Yamilet. Janet Tatiana. Thank you. Jose Heriberto Reyes. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Oscar Flores. Josué David. Eh, Catherine Alejandra Juárez. Catherine Juárez. Catherine Elizabeth Romero. Present. Thank you. Catherine Lisbeth Solórzano. Leticia Magdalena Ortiz. Present teacher. Eh, Ilse Marlene. Present teacher. Ok. Catherine Solórzano, no veo. No está. Ilse Marlene, yes. Luz de Jesús. Present. Thank you. Melvin Josué. Rosa Margarita. Rosa María Maya. And Joana Mariela. Present. Thank you. Okay, let's continue right here. So let's go back to the presentation right here. I am going to go back to my PowerPoint. What about these ones? I need examples of the sentences. Veamos qué oraciones crearon ustedes. Okay. 
Ajá. Chayang is a singer. Chayang is a singer. Very good. Chayang is a singer. Another one. Lian Neeson is an actor. Lian Neeson is an actor. Right. Lian Neeson is an actor. Very good. Messi is a player. Messi is a player. Ajá, es un jugador. Pero de qué? Messi uh, is a player. Messi is a football player. A soccer player. Very good job. Is an actor for an actor of movie. Okay, Sylvester Stallone is an actor, right? Sylvester is alone. Stallone is an actor. Another one. Julia Roberts is. Julia Roberts is. Julia Roberts is an actress, right? She is an actress. An actress. Another one. Cristiano Ronaldo is a model. Okay, Cristiano Ronaldo is a model. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. he's a model for shoes and underwear and all these things. It's true. It's true. Okay, Jose, what was your sentence? Cristiano Ronaldo is a soccer player. Big, okay, Cristiano Ronaldo is a soccer player, right? Very good job. Any other one? What characteristics can you give me about these people? ¿Qué características le ven? ¿Qué me podrían decir de su descripción física? Julia Roberts is a uh, beautiful. Ok, Julia it's Roberts, beautiful. exactly like that. Eso es lo que yo quería. Julia Roberts is beautiful. Ok, ¿por qué no le ponemos a ah, beautiful? Porque no estamos hablando de un noun en este caso. Estamos hablando de un adjetivo. Julia Roberts is beautiful. Chayang is handsome. Messi is good. Eh, Rocky. Eh, Rocky. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone is a strong, right? And in this case, you don't use a or an. ¿Por qué no van a ocupar a o an si están haciendo una descripción física? Porque aquí no van a transformar el adjetivo. So you can say, she is beautiful, ¿ok? En este caso, después, de, después del verbo to be, tenemos un adjetivo, beautiful, bonita, ¿ok? Pero si estamos hablando de la persona, ahí sí ocupamos a o an. And you say, she is a beautiful, um, ¿ok? Beautiful. She is a beautiful woman. ¿Ok? ¿Qué es lo que está transformando la letra A en este caso? Woman. Right? She is a beautiful woman. ¿Ok? Es una mujer bonita. And in this case, you use it. Pero si en este caso, por ejemplo, decimos, she is beautiful, ella es bonita. No decimos, she is a beautiful. ¿Ok? Si decimos que Chayanne is handsome. So you say, Chayanne is handsome. ¿Qué significa handsome? Guapo. Guapo, right? Ya me van a decir los bichos. De mí no va a estar hablando. Ah, Chayanne is handsome, right? And si queremos decir que él es un hombre guapo, ¿cómo lo haríamos? Chayanne is a, a handsome man. Exactly, right? Chayang is a handsome man. And then you have the difference, okay? Pero me captan la diferencia, que no le podemos poner a o an al adjetivo, okay? Cuando decimos alto, bajo, gordito, guapo, etc. Okay, ahí no, no necesitamos a y an, porque no estamos hablando de un nombre, okay? Pero si decimos Chayang is a handsome man, aquí el a es para men, no afecta al adjetivo handsome. Okay, so that is something important, right, to keep in mind. So it's important para guardarnoslo ahí en los datos importantes. So let's continue here. And here we have a couple of examples, right? 
And here we have, for example, uncontracted sentences. Recuerden que estuvimos hablando de las formas contractadas y las formas no contractadas. Can you say, I am happy and I'm happy. I'm. Right? I'm. Como que tuvieras hambre y te quieras comer algo. I'm. I'm. I am happy. It's la forma no contractada. Y la forma contractada, say, I'm happy. She's beautiful. Um, She's am. beautiful. He's oh, handsome. She's It's big. We're hungry. They are We're fine. Hungry. You are funny. Okay. I always say that if you cannot do these ones, si se les complican mucho estos sonidos, hágalo normal. She is beautiful. He is handsome. It is big. We are hungry. They are fine. You are funny. Okay. It is okay if you contract this or not. Okay, practice with me the uncontracted sentences. I am happy. I am happy. She I is beautiful. Happy. She, She is, beautiful. is beautiful. He is handsome. He is handsome. It is big. It is big. It is big. We are hungry. We are hungry. We are hungry. They are fine. You are funny. The next ones, the contracted ones. I am happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. She's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's handsome. He's handsome. It's big. It's big. We're hungry. We're, we're, we're hungry. hungry. They're fine. They're, They're fine. fine. You're funny. You're funny. You're funny, right? You're funny. Very good. So here we have all oh, their examples, right? These are the negatives, contracted and not contracted. I am I am not happy. I am not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. She is not beautiful. She's not beautiful. He's not beautiful. He is not handsome. He is not handsome. He's not handsome. He's not handsome. It's not big. It's not big. It's not big. It is not big. It is not big. It's not big. We are not hungry. We're not hungry. We're not hungry. They are not fine. They are, they are not fine. They are not fine. They are not fine. You are not funny. 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 Very good. So. In this case, I am going to jump here, okay? Here. I am going to go on this one. I need you to help me. I need you to help me find the mistake. What is the mistake on the sentence? Okay. Okay. What is the mistake on the sentence? There you go. I need you to find the mistake and I need you to tell me what is the problem, okay? Importante. Me va a decir el error, pero me va a decir por qué. No solo, if teacher, are. No, okay? Analícela, véala y dígame el error de la oración. What's the problem? In Spanish? No, in English for sure. In English. What is the problem with number one? In plural. We in plural. Uh -huh. We is plural. Uh -huh. um, is I uh -huh. singular? 
Okay, am is for singular. What is the correct sentence? We are. We are, right? We are. We are marketing managers. And Jose, that was correct. So you say, we is plural. So you don't need am, you need to use are, okay? We is with are. What about the next one? Thank you, Jose. Good job. What about the next one? ¿Qué tal la siguiente? She is. Ajá. Uh -huh. Why? Eh, es singular. Es solo una persona. Ajá. Uh -huh. But it, this is a negative. Mm -hmm. Any negative? She is not. Exactly. She is not. She is not. Margarita Marroquín. What about the next one? Why? Because it's plural, right? Because it's a plural form. Natalia and Sarai are the new supervisors. What about this one? Uh, my boss. My boss is. Uh huh. Why? Because um, is is third person. It's for third person. And in this case, my boss, it's he, right? Their secretary. Yes. Their secretary. Yes. And how do you transform it? Number it's five not. is not, right? Their secretary isn't Laura Miranda. In this case, you might say, teacher, pero esto es plural. Es para ellos, teacher. No, porque se refiere a la secretaria. La secretaria es singular, la secretaria del grupo, la secretaria de ellos. Their secretary isn't Laura Miranda. So in this case, it is with negative isn't. Good, very good job. So, you see, it was a very, very good practice. I am going to jump a little bit on the next practice. And I will go right here. Okay. I have my, my phrase of the day. What is the phrase for this class? ¿Quién me ayuda a leerla? I am going to change it right here. Give me a second. We are marking man. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No me ha cargado todavía lo que les estoy compartiendo. Ahí está cargando. Ahí voy, ahí voy. Ay, sí, ya cargó. Ajá. I need one volunteer to help me. Day by day, what do you eat? Who you because? Okay, day become. by day, become. Okay, become. Day by become. day, what you do is who you become. become. Day by day, what you do become. is who you become. What is the meaning of this? ¿Qué significa Uy, tenemos musicón salvaje, ¿eh? ¿Qué es eso, musicón? Nos va a vetar YouTube. Day by day, what you do is who you become. ¿Qué significa eso? Como día, día a día. Lo que eres? haces es... Ajá. Lo que haces es... Es en quien eres o te, te conviertes. Exactly like that. Día a día lo que haces es en quien te conviertes. So, imagínense que ustedes día a día se ponen a, a estudiar un montón. ¿En qué se van a convertir? En buenos estudiantes. En buenos English speakers. 
¿ok? Si hacen un montón de prácticas, que okay, Se van a convertir en un mejor estudiante cada día. So, day by day, what you do is who you become. Keep it in mind. Yes. Yeah, that's very important, right? And it is yeah. true. It is true. Day by day, what you do is who you become. Okay. So I have here, let's go here. I have a question. Question. How many letters are in the English alphabet? How many letters are in the English alphabet? Uh -huh. How many, how many, quantas? How many? How many letters are there in the English alphabet? 26. Okay, you were like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K. 26, right? They are 26 letters, right? 26 letters. And you have them all here, right? You have all of them right in front of you. And here you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, and C, right? Those are the letters of the alphabet. ¿Cuáles son sus peores enemigos? E, A, I. Those are your worst enemies. This one is a, A, right? This one is E. This one is I. Okay, you have to be very careful. Los peores otros enemigos. B and B. You have to remember. B, B is the first one, right? B. Y esta otra de aquí abajo es B, V. Right? V. It's different, right? ¿Cuáles otros enemigos tenemos? P. T, D, 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 hasta suena, pues, D, como D, dímelo, dímelo, D, D, ese es P, 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 y si se siente, es un poquito explosiva, si se ponen su manita al frente de la boca, y se dice P, P, y ya se sienten como un, un, un airecito que sale ahí, P, 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 ok, es bien explosiva, P, ok, And this is T, T. No tiene ningún motivo, right? T, T. Okay. And for example, this one, M. Y cierran su boquita. M. Por ejemplo, cuando yo le digo, I am Natty. My name is Natty. Right? The M sound. M. And this is N, right? N, N. Okay, that's the difference on the sounds. ¿Cuál es otro que les da problema? K and Q. K, como OK, acuérdense de OK. OK, K and Q. Q, como Q, ole, Q, ole, ¿qué tal? Q, 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 right? Y, Y. And this one is? Z, 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 ¿ok? Las pobres inocentes que no confunden, F, L, R, right, R, U, W, X, ¿ok? Esas no, no tienen problema con nadie, right? So we need to be very careful. Y si de repente se les olvida y se dicen, no me acuerdo cómo se menciona, acuérdense de la clásica, la clásica canción. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? There you have it. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, B. W, X, Y, and C. There you have it. Si se les olvida de repente, pónganse A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then you will remember the different sounds of the alphabet, okay? Volvamos a, a, a su niñez, pues. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Go ahead. Vamos. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S Q-R-S-Q-R-S-T-U-B W-X Y-N-C Ok Eso es para que recuerden que aquí no dice l m n o p Right, it's like L M N O P, right? L M N O P. So that's for you to keep it in mind. Okay. So you say L M N O P, L M N O P. Okay. Como la cantábamos nosotros, L M N O P. Sí. Q R S T U V W X Y and C. You say no. Right now, you pause it and you remember. Right. It is very important to do that. And here I have another question. Which are the vowels? Which are the vowels? The vowels. Uh -huh. Which are the vowels? Okay, which? What is? What is Which are the vowels? A. E. 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 I. 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 O, o U, U right? U. A E I O U, right? There you have the vowels. And you say A E I O U. A E I O U. The next one. Which letter is next? C D E. E I E. F. Very good, right? C D E F C D E F Okay, that's the next one. A B C D E F. That's the next one. Which letter is between O and Q? P. Between P, right? P, letter P. And there you have it. It's O P. Q, right? O, P, Q. Between, significa en medio de. What letter is between O and Q? P. And here we have, for sure, the alphabet, right? O, P, Q. And that was a very good practice, okay? Eso fue el, para que se pusieran las pilas ahí, me despertaran. Remember, right, we were using this one. This is important. At the beginning of the sentence, we need to use capital. Siempre mayúscula al inicio de la oración. Okay? Y la letra I siempre es mayúscula porque se refiere a me. I. I am happy, right? Always with capital. She is happy and she are happy. It's not correct. It's going to be. What is the mistake here? ¿Cuál es el error? She is. She is happy, uh, right? You have to be careful and read, right? No solo me digan, sí, teacher, sí. Say, she is happy. Si ven un error, de repente les pongo alguno por ahí, vean, para que también se fijen y me digan, no, teacher, that's not correct, right? Okay. What about this one? I am going to ask one by one, and you are going to tell me about the practice, right? So you say, she is a manager, right? She is a manager, right? She is a manager. What about the next one? He is, a, he is, a, he is an actor, right? He is an actor. The next one? He is a student. He is a student. Mark is... A mechanic. A, mechanic. a mechanic. I am. Uh, no. I am a nurse, right? No. It is. A school. It is a school. What about the next one? You are. 
You are a farmer. What about the last one? She is. She is a musician. Musician. What is the meaning of musician? Musician is musico, right? Musico. She is a musician, right? It's un, una, pues, musico. And for sure, this is what we did on the previous class, right? Esta fue el que hicimos en el manual el día de ayer. So like, is she Jessica? No, she is not. She is Linda, right? Are you a manager? Yes, I am. Is he Thomas? No, he is not. He is Jose. And are they Francisco and Alan? Yes, they are. And are you Marcela and Carla? No, we are not. We are Maria and Camila. Okay. Este fue el que hicimos ayer en el manual. And I have a little practice here. I need you to create questions with the different characters. And we have the different colors, yellow, gray, blue, green, pink, red, and brown, okay? I need you to create sentences, sentences with this. You're going to create questions. Vamos a hacer preguntas, okay? Aquí teníamos los ejemplos. Are you Carlos? Is she a manager? Is he a supervisor, right? And here we have different characters. I need you to create questions about the characters. And you are going to tell me, pero como teacher, como una pregunta. And I can say, is Bob, is Bob a fish? Is Bob a fish, people? ¿Qué me contestarían? No, he's not. Oh, he no, is. he is not, right? No, he is not. And I can say he another, is. he is a sponge, right? He is a sponge. And I can say, is Bob pink? Is Bob pink? Uh, no, he is not. No, he is no, not. He is, he is yellow, okay? Invent sentences, people. There you have the characters and there you have some examples, okay? ¿A quién no le ha gustado esto en su vida acá? There you go. Create sentences, specifically questions. Go ahead. Seis preguntas tienen que armar. Seis preguntas. Six questions. Ahí vienen los nombrecitos, vea. We have Patrick, Mr. Krabs, Sandy, Gary, Squidward, SpongeBob. Ocupen los nombres. Sí, es Es con a amigos de Patricia. Ok, how would you make it? ¿Cómo armaría la oración? Ah, In is English. SpongeBob, uh -huh. Is SpongeBob friend of Patrick Star? Very good. Fantastic sentence. Is SpongeBob friend of Patrick? Yes, he is. They are best friends. Create six sentences. Okay, Deme un segundo, voy a conectar mi computer. Create your sentences. I will connect my computer.
Did you finish? Did you finish your six sentences? Teacher, yeah. Eh, como, how do you say eh, ardilla? A squirrel. A squirrel. And I am going to write it for you. So let's get here. Let me write it. Squirrel. That's the way you write it, squirrel. Ok, cuando ya las tengan, me van a enviar dos al chat. Y ahí las vamos a revisar todas. De las seis, me van a enviar dos al chat. And if you are wondering where is the chat, the chat is right here. Ok, you are going to send me two from the chat. Okay, right there. Teacher, do yep. you say caracol? Caracol, this is a snail. Okay, let me write it, I'll just explain. Here, snail, snail. Crab is cangrejo. Okay, crab is cangrejo. And a squid, the squid is calamar. Squid. Es calamar. Squid, snail, crab, and a squirrel. And when you finish, send me the sentences on. Okay, Alma Dalila. It says, is Mr. Crab a orange? Si decimos. In that case, eh, es Don Cangrejo un naranja? Naranja, en este caso, es un color, es un adjetivo. ¿Cómo arreglaríamos esta oración? Okay. Si quiere preguntar si es una naranja, sería aquí. Is Mr. Crab and orange. Ok. Si quiere preguntarme si es una naranja. Pero si me quiere preguntar si él es naranja, usaríamos esto. Is Mr. Crab orange? Ok. Is Mr. Crab orange? Ok. 
él es naranja, es el naranja, right? Patrick star is a star. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que ponemos primero en las preguntas? Antonio José, ¿cómo armamos la pregunta? ¿Qué es lo primero que tenemos que escribir? ¿El sujeto eh, o el verbo? El sujeto. Yeah. Para is, las preguntas. Ah, el the verb, right? Is Patrick, Patrick. star. A star. Yes, he is a star. Very good. Okay. Joana, Gary is a sponge. ¿Qué es lo que ponemos primero en las, en las oraciones? Is Gary a sponge? Very good. You corrected yourself. Así te corregiste. Muy bien. Is Gary a sponge? Ahí es porque les pido que las escriban en el chat para ver si de veras las estamos escribiendo como es. Okay. Is Gary a sponge? Very good. No, he's not. Vamos, vamos, todos me tienen que enviar sus oraciones al chat. Vamos. Write it on the chat. Si no le sale el chat de Zoom, mándelas al chat de WhatsApp. It's okay. Okay. <clears throat> More examples. Is a Squidward an octopus? Very good question. Is Mr. Crab red? Very good sentence. Excellent. Is Mr. Crab's red? Okay. Ah, a red. No. Solo quitémosle el a. Ah. Is Mr. Crab's red? Okay. Porque ahí sería un rojo. Is Mr. Krabs red? Is Gary friends with SpongeBob? No, she is your pet. Okay, aquí, esta oración está buena, pero le vamos a sacar el 100%. Okay, let's see. Here. Is Gary friend with SpongeBob? No, it is... It is his, porque estamos hablando de Bob. Entonces aquí tenía que ser, it is his pet. Ok, ahí les mando la corrección. Is Squidward Sponge? Is Patrick Stark live? Ok, is Patrick Stark live in the sea? Ok, y ahí bueno, entiendo la pregunta, Christian. Is Patrick Stark live in the sea? In this case, si él vive en el océano. Ahí sería otro tipo de pregunta. Ya nos pasaríamos al siguiente tema. Con does. Does Patrick live in the sea? ¿Vive él en el océano? Right. And the other one would be, is Patrick alive in the sea? ¿Está vivo en el océano? Is Patrick alive in the sea? The second form would be like, si está vivo. Está vivo de que no se nos ahoga. Yeah. But the first one, for example, is, does Patrick live in the sea? Ese es otro tipo de oración. Okay. Is Mr. Crafts an orange? Hey, okay. Va a volver a temblar, chicos. No se me asusten. Sí, es cierto. Igual aquí también. Ajá. Me acaba de activar la alarma. Así que no se me asuste. Ya, ya vamos a terminar. Ya vamos a terminar. Okay. Okay. We are together. That's the most important. So, good examples, right? Good examples. Is Patrick Star pink? Right? You don't say I'm pink. It is pink. Okay? Is Patrick Star pink? You don't say I'm pink. And those are good sentences, definitely. Those are very good sentences. It is Sandy a duck? No, right? It is Sandy a duck. Duck, the pato, is with you, right? It is Sandy a duck, and it is with you. 
It is Andy a dog? No, it is not a ah a dog. <laughs> a dog de perro, no dog de pato. Okay. It is Andy a dog? No, it is not a dog. It is a snail, right? It is a snail. Dog es pato. En este caso, ella se refería a dog. So there you have very good sentences. You have to be very careful with the subject and with the verb, right? The verb is at the beginning of the question and then the subject and then the complement, right? So good practice. Take notes about the corrections that I did. Okay, tomen nota de las correcciones que les hago. ¿Por qué? Porque nos sirven para nuevas oraciones. And here we go with the next one. We are going to do a short review before we finish, right? We are going to do a very short review before finish. Is Gary a pet? Very good sentence, right? Is Gary a pet? And here we have a short exam, okay? Tenemos un examen cortito aquí. We have a short exam. And it says, is she Maria? Yes, she. And here we have the forms. Is she Maria? Yes, she. What? What would be the sentence? Yes. yes, she is. Okay. Luis and Victor. Are you? Are you Luis and Victor? Carlos. Yes, he. Is he Carlos? Are we sisters? Are we sisters? No. No, we are not, right? No, we are not because it says you, because you are included, right? Are we sisters? Are you brothers here? Are your brothers here? Yes, they are. Yes. They are, okay? Yes, they are. Are your brothers here? ¿Qué significa esa pregunta? Are your brothers here? Están tus hermanos, right? Están tus hermanos aquí? Are your brothers here? Yes, they are, okay? Yes, they are. Ajá. ¿Por qué no podemos decir aquí en este caso? Okay, espérenme. Permítanme. Okay. Are we sisters? En este caso, tú estás incluida en la oración. Are we sisters? No, we are not, right? Because you are including yourself, right? Are we sisters? And in this case, it's like, are your brothers here? ¿Están tus hermanos aquí? Yes, they are. Okay? Yes, they are. That's the form of the sentence. And I have here another little exercise. What about this one? Number one, number two, number three, four, and five. Jose Reyes, number one. Eh, Antonio, number two. Edwin, number three. Ilse, number four. And Joanna, number five. Aha. Veamos. Number one. Catherine is a supervi super com ¿cómo es? supervisor. Supervisor. So you say Catherine is a supervisor. Catherine is a supervisor. Number two. He is not a supervisor. He is not a supervisor. Number three. I am an accountant. I am an accountant. Very good. Number four. Yes, I am super. Super. Uh -huh. Number four. Supervisor. Comienza con consonante. You are. R, R, R. You are a, you are a supervisor, right? You are a supervisor. 
And the last one, Saul and Rachel. Um, teacher. Saul and Rachel uh, are teacher. teachers. Okay, thank you, thank you. Saul and Rachel are teachers. Okay. Aquí, ¿por qué ocupamos is? A ver, ¿quién me explica? ¿Por qué ocupamos is? Porque es singular y se refiere a una persona. Singular se refiere a una persona, ajá. Pero en este caso, Katherine, ¿qué sería? She. Okay. She. Singular, she. Katherine is a. Is not. ¿Por qué? Porque es primera persona. También. ¿Primera? No, pero, no, primera persona. Tercera persona. Tercera. He is not. I am an. Yo. Primero. It's first person, right? Say I am. You. Second person, you are a supervisor. And the last one. No, esta es segunda persona. Bueno, segunda persona plural. You. Y eso, Saúl and Rachel. Two people. Plural. This is two people. Plural. Saúl and Rachel. Son dos personas. Plural. Okay. So that's important. That you analyze, right? It is important that you actually analyze the sentences. Cuando hagan las oraciones, chicos, leanlas, analícenlas. No solo me digan, ah, he, she, it, we, they. No. Okay. Hay que analizar la oración. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué estoy usando eso? ¿Por qué le tengo que poner, eh, ¿por qué le tengo que poner is? ¿Por qué le tengo que poner are? So you need to analyze that. And in this one, right, we did this one already, right, the spelling. And here. I am going to go back into the manual, right? Remember that the use of the manual is very important. People, have you advanced on the platform? ¿Ya avanzaron en la plataforma, chicos? ¿Ya terminaron su primera sección? No, teacher. Ajá. Entonces, yo los invito, porfa, a que terminen. Al menos su primera sección ya tiene que estar terminada y la segunda ya tiene que estar en camino, ¿ok? Para que... Ajá. Una preguntita. Eh, yep. Para lo que usted mandó en, en el WhatsApp, eh, parece que mandó los tre tres archivos, parece. Ajá. Eso es lo mismo que está en la plataforma. Ok. Eh, los PDF que les compartí. Sí. Ese es su manual de estudio, ¿ok? En el manual de estudio, si ustedes se fijan, van todos los temas que yo les voy dando, ¿ok? Pero ahí hay como otras prácticas, hay otro vocabulario. Entonces, yo les incluyo más cosas en las presentaciones para que ustedes también vayan conociendo de otros temas, de ahí otras prácticas. Entonces, el manual es una cosa. La plataforma es otra diferente, ¿ok? La plataforma es la que les mostré, donde ustedes entran, hacen sus ejercicios, hacen sus exámenes en línea y todo. Entonces, la plataforma es algo que ustedes tienen que ir trabajando a diario, ¿ok? Si pueden ir avanzando mucho más es mejor, pero, ¿ya? Pero es que como que si cuando no. como que el correo quizás no lo escribieron bien o no sé, pero a mí me dice error de correo, o sea, el correo no me lo acepta. Ok, y ya te pusiste cuidado que no te falte ningún espacio, que no esté como eh, mal escrito, ¿es el correo que has compartido con inglés corporativo? Sí, es el mismo. Ok, entonces eso tenemos que tener mucho cuidado, porque en tu caso, no sé si te lo puedo corroborar en este momento. And let me see. Just give me one second. Ok. Eh, Alma Dalila, Alma Reynosa, punto 1996. Yes. Is it that one? Ok. Entonces, si no nos podemos conectar, envíeme al WhatsApp ese detalle, que no le acepta su correo. Is anyone else having difficulties with this? Jo Joanna, tell me. Eh, solo eh, que cuando entramos a la, bueno, cuando yo entro a la plataforma, este, en el buscador me aparece el nombre, me pide el nombre del curso. Entonces, no sé qué es, si aparece automáticamente, porque a veces me carga automáticamente, a veces me pide el nombre, entonces. 
Ok, it is just like that. Ok, aquí está. Siempre cuando tú entras, a la parte de tu nombre dice cursos. Ahí le das, le das este clic y ahí te sale tus cursos. Tus cursos, eh, que los que estás inscrita. ¿verdad? Que en este caso ustedes tienen uno ahorita. Ok. Ese es el, el curso. Se lo voy a enviar por ahí. También en el chat de Zoom para que lo puedan jalar de ahí. Ese es como un link. Directo. There you go. There you go. That's like straight to the course. Ahí les mandé el, el link. Ese va directo al curso. Así que eh, copien. So it is important. Al menos esta parte. Section number one. Ya tiene que estar completados esos ejercicios. Y ya tienen que haber empezado a trabajar en la section number two. Si no es que ya la hayan terminado. Okay. So please. It is really, really important that you advance on this. The platform, it's a very important part of everything. Yo creo que es una de las partes más importantes. Su asistencia y el completar la plataforma. ¿okay? Ya tenemos todo lo necesario para completar la sección 1 y la sección 2, o al menos la pueden ir iniciando ya, o si no, la pueden completar. Perfecto. Si se traba en un ejercicio, envíen la captura al correo, al correo, al WhatsApp, chicos. Y ahí entre todos nos apoyamos. ¿okay? Imagínense que aquí usted no sabe cómo terminar este, ¿verdad? Y siempre le sale malo, por ejemplo. Aunque está fácil. Yeah. Is she Rebecca? Yes, she is. Yeah, it's very easy. So, nos mandan esta captura. Y ahí me pone, can you help me? Y yo, pues, con mucho gusto, le voy a ayudar. José, dígame. Solo una consulta. En el caso de ello, este, en la segunda sesión, yo me equivoqué una tan sola vez. ¿Ah? La segunda vez que lo, que lo volví a enviar, me lo dio por aceptado. Pero ¿cuántas veces puedo equivocarme? As many as you want. Todas las que quieras. No hay límite de que me equivoqué, lo vuelvo a hacer. No. La plataforma está abierta a que usted pueda practicar tantas veces sea posible hasta que le salga correcto. Pero si se está trabajando mucho en un ejercicio, envíelo al chat y entre todos nos apoyamos. ¿Ok? No, no, yo digo, lo, hago la pregunta porque este, si eso me afecta, para ver si eso me afectaría con respecto al examen, porque es como un examen. Exactly, but no, en este caso no. Si tú lo haces y lo dejas con el error, ahí sí te afecta. ¿Okay? Si tú dices, ay, me salió mal, así que queda. No, si no la corriges, entonces ahí sí te afecta. Pero si tú la corriges, el porcentaje es sube. Normal. Okay. Okay? Gracias. Okay? Thank you're, you. you're welcome. Así que chicos, cualquier problema que tengamos con la plataforma, envíenlo al chat. Si no pueden entrar, si no se pueden conectar, igual eh, avísenme. Les voy a enviar el link también a WhatsApp para que entren en directo. Ok. So, have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Be careful with the tremors, ok. Tengan cuidado con los temblores, que va a seguir temblando. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, good my night, dear Sarah. student. Bye. Bye, bye. Take care.